It's always interesting to notice that how people are using generative AI to target the specific niches in the real world. SweetSpot is one such tool. SweetSpot enables you to find, manage and bid on federal contract opportunities. It is mainly at the moment gate at the US contracting, but just imagine you can tailor it or maybe clone it to suit any of the federal government or any sort of local council government in any country out there. The idea is quite simple yet very very effective. In this video, I am going to give you a walkthrough of Sweet Spot. Now with Sweet Spot, you can do a lot of things when it comes to government contracting. If you have ever dealt with government contracting, no matter what the country is, you know the red tape, you know the bureaucratic documents and requirements, obligations, regulations you need to meet. Plus, the whole process is fragmented into different parts. It could be searching for any opportunities, it, go, it could be going after the pursuit, it could be uh, business intelligence, analytics, proposal writing. So at the moment, as far as I know, all of for all of these uh, um, tasks, we have different tools. So SweetSpot uses AI to bring it all together at one stage. So it's an all-in-one solution that helps you through every stage of the capture process. Traditional government contracting tools solve individual need, forcing you to choose between search, BI or business intelligence and proposal writing. Whereas SweetSpot is, um, is an all-in-one solution that enables you to do all of these things on single pane of glass. So the way it works is it enables you to first search for any federal opportunity that best your business. And of course, as I said earlier, you can tailor it to any council level, state level, province level, whatever your government structure is. And they... Uh, leverage their AI powered search engine to find those opportunities. Once you have finished searching for any opportunities and, now, and then you know that okay these are the opportunities then you can ask from their co-pilot or AI about that opportunity and then you can decide okay should I be bidding on it or should I not be bidding on it and uh, you can just ask about RFX and all those stuff. And then you can manage it once you have uh, done the bit you can or organize the files you can assign tasks to teammates and track the progress of pursuit throughout its life cycle and then once that's done you can also use it to respond by drafting or you know drafting it to any pursuit by leveraging their intelligent ai copilot privately trained on company's data and that would be your own company's data how good is that and you don't have to be a machine learning guru or AI expert in order to do this because it is quite intuitive, quite easy to do. So let's check it out. Uh, you can sign up in one and you can try it out for free. Hopefully they, they won't be asking me for my credit card. I already have signed up and then verified my email and then it is asking me to create my organization name. So I'm just going to say here test and create organization it says it's already exists maybe i'll just say mm, test all fed just a fictitious name let's wait for it to load okay so now it is saying that okay so i'm signed in my organization is set and if you look at the top banner, it is saying that your organization's free trial has 47 hours of value. That is quite generous. Let's check out the federal contracts. Now, because I haven't um, defined my profile, so it is giving me all of the results. So these are all the opportunities. For example, there is this debris removal in North Heartland, VT. So, and then there are a lot of other things. You can see that there are a lot of uh, opportunity so for example i can select it or i can uh, create the pursuit or i can ask ai let's uh, maybe i would first set up my profile so this is the profile and in the settings if i go there these are all the settings i can change them anytime uh, i would want 
And if you want to set your own profile on the top left, click on the sandwich button, then go to profiles. And here you can give more information about your company, all that codes and stuff, point of contact, email. You can also give your own file here. Maybe you want to do, you have a lot of PDFs, you have a lot of existing contracts so that it will make uh, this AI more empowered and it would know what sort of contracts you target, what sort of contract and how do you go about it. So it is going to learn from your own data. And then you can also do the classification where you give a lot of codes there and these are your own members. Let's go back to the opportunities. Let's go, let's check out this debris removal. I'm just going to ask AI. You see that because I haven't provided any documents, so sorry, made it a bit bigger. It is saying that no files were included, so it would be just generic information. I'm just going to ask, should I, maybe I'll just say my business relates to roof cleaning and okay, or maybe and general cleaning levels. Should I bid on this project? Very straightforward question. You see, so it is just giving me the a generic answer. see so mine is roof cleaning whereas this is relates to the river one it's a river cleaning um, I'm just going to say I have done a, a river cleaning in the past in another state should I wait so you can immediately sense that as long as you provide more data your own data so this AI the answers would be more good otherwise don't think so it is going to do much now it is saying that it is a suitable opportunity so a is quite good as you can see it's just a usual similar chatbot so i'm just going to stop it here and the good thing is that it is giving us all the comprehensive approach about registration preparing a competitive bid and so on and so forth Let's go back and then let's go to pursuit because I haven't created a pursuit so maybe I'll just click on pursuit and then just test and then due date maybe I'll just or tomorrow day after tomorrow sign to me status waiting award and create pursuit and then you can delete it and you can do a lot of things there So that is how you create your pursuit and of course i already have shown you the chat and this is the library but you would need to book the demo with it if you want to upgrade then um you can go with this pricing which seems quite uh, reasonable to me like 50 dollars per month for all of these opportunities but anyway the point here is that look how people are targeting these niches with the generative ai power tool all what is happening is that maybe they are using some sort of uh, LLM at the back end, which is doing all of this function calling. And th this function is just calling a web search and the web search is tailored to uh, the federal government contracts. And they have also maybe fine tuned that LLM on all the past federal government contracts. And that is why it knows more about it. It could be open source one, or it could be uh, maybe the closed source like Claude from Anthropic or maybe for uh, the you know, open is gpt anyway uh, pretty good so here is another opportunity maybe you could clone it for your own government purposes or you know anything similar should be good the general idea is there so that's it guys let me know your thoughts on it i will drop the link to this sweet spot in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing for the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.